In this video, we will be studying about the index number. Index numbers, see, these are used for the comparison and especially a relative comparison. These are the measure of relative comparison. Now what you do, you take the current year, you choose one of the base year and you compare the variable over the period of time. The variable can be your price, your income, demand, supply, production, etc. Anything like what was your price in 2004-05 and what is the price in 2016. You have to compare it with this. So this is your current year and 2004 uh, and 5 is your base year. So how your variable has changed from base year to the current year is actually the index number. Now an index number is a statistical measure designed to show changes in a variable or group of related variables with respect to time, geographic location or other characteristics. So this definition is saying that index number is a statistical measure through which you can compare the changes in the variable or group related to variable with respect to time, geographic location or other characteristics. Now what are the features of index numbers? Number one is measures of relative change. The so index number measures relative change or the percentage change in the variables over time. For example, let's take the index number of price. It's not simply a statement of price at different date. It presents estimate of percentage change in the price over the year. Like in 2011 from 4 to 5 I am talking about 2004 and 2005 let's say I am taking a base year. So in 2011 the change in the price of wheat was let's say 20% rise. 2012 it changed to 30%. Till 2016, it has increased to 60% from 2004. So, we are calculating the number, index number in case of relative change or in the case of percentage. Second is the quantitative expression. See, whatever answer you will get, you will get in number. So, Index numbers offer a precise measurement of the quantitative change in the concerned variable over time. The index number of price, for example, will tell us that between the year 2015 and 2016, prices have risen by 7%, right? Or they have reduced by 3%, whatever is the reason during the period of time. So, this is the quantitative expression. The third are the averages. Index numbers show changes in the terms of averages. When it is said that between the year 2011 and 2012 prices have risen by 7% but it is 
not mean that price of all goods and services has uniformly risen by 7%. So it takes the average of the goods which have increased or whose prices have increased over the period of time. So it takes the averages into consideration. Number one, the problems in the construction of index number. What are the problems that are related to the construction of index number? Number one is purpose of index. See, do you want price index? Do you want consumer price index? Do you want wholesale price index? Do you want industrial price index? So what is the objective of studying the index? What is the objective you want? It should be very clear. So it becomes very difficult if you are not clear with the objective that what index you want, the purpose of index numbers becomes very difficult. Selection of base year. Now which year to be selected as base year is the other problem in the construction of index numbers. The third comes here, selection of goods and services. What goods and services you should consider and whose average you should take in order to calculate the index number. So having defined the objective, the problem is of the selection of goods or services to be included in the index number. So to construct the consumer price index, we need all the commodities, right? So all commodities we cannot include, it is neither possible. Not, not desirable to include all the goods and services produced in the economy. So we have to choose among the goods and services which represent most of the other goods and services in the market. So it becomes very difficult that how will you select the goods and services. Fourth comes here, selection of the price of goods and services. Now it becomes very difficult when you have to uh, construct the index number that whether you will take the wholesale prices or the retail prices, controlled prices or the open market prices, what prices will you consider while constructing the index number, that this becomes the other problem. To find out the average price. Now, in the construction of index number, base year values assume to be 100 and other values of different years are related to 100. So, it is difficult to find out the average price because price keeps on changing over the years. Selection of method of weighting. Now, in working out the average prices, every care should be taken of the relative significance of different commodities. So, while constructing index numbers, weights are accorded to different commodities. You assign weights to different commodity. The commodity which has more value, more importance, more significance will be given higher weightage. So, the selection of the method of weightage becomes the other problem in the construction of index numbers. Seventh comes here, problem of finding averages. Now what average you should take, mean, median or mode, what should be the central tendency? Shall it be a geometric average, arithmetic mean, harmonic mean, etc. So problem of finding out and choosing the average becomes the other problem. Then comes the selection of formula. Now the index number have uh, so many formulas such as Fisher's method, Laspier's method, then Pache method. So which method you should choose to calculate the index number is the other problem in the construction of index numbers. So I hope you have understood this. Do download our Scholars Learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us.